that would work and maybe you were going to be hanging on for ages. The phase of heart follows criticism that the lack of a helpline would lead to more mistakes on tax returns. Those who used the service said they were already subject to long waiting times before getting through the staff rather than closure for half the year. Of a tax and you struggled to get through to HMRC as the January deadline approached. Do you welcome the helpline staying open for a year, but you wish they had more human beings to answer the calls? Or perhaps you say... Let's talk to Richard Murphy, Chartered Accountant and Professor of Accounting Practice at Sheffield University. <laughs> I mean, I've been oh. a accountant for 40 years now. I've done a mighty lot of tax returns. And I know how stressful people find tax. Well, I spoke recently to a person who owns a small cafe. And she said she had tried to do it and she had ended up in tears and it wasn't worth it. And she'd have to, of course, pay someone to help her. But that's because she's self-employed. But lots and lots of people need help with their tax. Young people, people of lower earnings have got work for them because it's hard to get a full-time job that covers all their costs. Pensioners.
Listen to Mike Sam Singers and You Are My Heart's Delight. I'm going on now to let me have a look. Our Martino and Here in My Heart. <laughs> clear as saying, you know, there's no evidence that they're not harmful because they've not been around for that long. So I think we should really be careful. Obviously, there are really good things for <laughs> Goals of reducing vaping numbers in pit children. That's a question that I put to Marina Murphy, who represents the UK Vaping Industry Association. The reality is... ...to children. recently and i think you know that's just scratching the surface because we all know that that is the problem illegal sales to under age the nature of what has developed in the vaping industry does i mean it, it certainly looks like it's being targeted at teenagers well there are age groups There are countries and other experiences where they've made it difficult or impossible for um, vapors to get vapes. You know, things have gone back. So you think what who go on to develop cancer. It's not conclusive, but it suggests that... Good afternoon, Sir Chris. Good afternoon. Um, I know that much... ...is something. For adults... ...some of the dangers. Uh, we think that vaping is uh, safer than smoking.
I'm, you're not getting the free ride on here. Right, so look, um, well done. Well done. Thank you. Really Thank done you. Um, in terms of, of doing that. And it's good to have you back because without you, we kind of lost a little bit of balance. And Sarah out there who heard it for the first time, Sarah M was, what on earth is going on here? So you bring the balance back, mm -hmm. Ella. And we are absolutely happy to have you here. Our right, let's, burgers won't let, get stolen let, either, let, let, now that let, you're back. Right, 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 right let's go. Well, what do we got? Going. All right, well, I mean, let's talk about sober, because I think that that is an increasingly important topic. There used to be a time where if you went out to a bar and you weren't having a drink, everyone around you'd be like, why are you not drinking? And they, they'd mock you and they'd take the biscuit, you know? But now people are having more and more confidence to go out and say, actually, I'm not drinking and I don't want to drink and I don't need to drink. And that's totally fine. In fact, the, the European kind of council... Why vaping then, we assume, is a very good tool to... Well, it appears to be a very good tool to stop people uh, from smoking. The nudge unit uh, reckons that vaping is... Sorry, it... ...the film and his life was just... ...the having such... <laughs> This is The Rewind. Where were you when you first heard this? Step inside, Um, as well as Brad Pitt. The action sequences are quite good. Um, Jim the Butcher has got in touch with a queue. He says, how about a queen wasp? I saw one in my greenhouse this morning. And Jennifer says, you could have queue for quack. Uh, typical duck breeding in spring, apparently. Uh, Paul has got the right year. So has Brian. Well done. Um, if you want to have a guess at the mystery... Or alternative version, when aired on... Whitey. And we're still... With the word Sussex. BBC Radio Sussex. If I were a carpenter, from mystery year number one, four tops on backtracks on BBC Radio Somerset from the year when the BBC the BBC on BBC One launched a new children's show, the Basil Brush Show. Yeah, Basil on for the first time in this mystery year. It's also the year that Mary Hopkin performed on the TV show Opportunity Knox. Uh, Mary Hopkin then caught the attention of the model Twiggy who recommended her to her friend. <laughs> Uh, 
that's yep you're all eager and standing by so here let's go with the first five clues clue number one grown-ups in six letters grown-ups in six letters clue number two spasms of the diaphragm in seven letters spasms of the diaphragm seven letters clue three cosmetic substance for darkening coloring and thickening the eyelashes in seven Okay, you've had your first five clues. I'll just recap those. Clue one. <laughs> Grilled cheese is a famous one of these in seven letters. And clue five. Overhead inside of a room in seven letters. Right. Off you go, mull, cogitate, and return with your homework done. We'll see how you get on. With her new iPhone 15 from Ven, it's 48 megapixel camera with two times no matter where Hannah is sat, she can capture every goal in perfect close-up. Oh. Even if they are for the other team. At the save up to a huge £468 with iPhone 15 when you trade in an eligible device. Hurry, ends 4th of April. Saving based on eligible trade-in. Trade-in and credit checks, verification and terms apply. Don't sit on it, sell it. To see what you can sell. Lead to them putting themselves in an even worse situation. Yeah. So I have to 
everything has to be led by social services. I have a responsibility to be the person that is caring for you in the absence of your parents, but a real responsibility to be that person of trust. Did that make sense? It does make that sense. You've got to tread very carefully, haven't you? Because oh. you haven't had those, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine years leading up to a child yeah. uh, having a phone where you already have a pre-existing relationship with them. Yeah. And we had, I mean, on, a, on one story... We Like leaves on a tree and a week and a half to go until Easter. Shop owners like Dan in Orkney in the north of Scotland are getting ready. I went online to order, uh, but not knowingly, I ordered 80 cases of Easter eggs. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Uh, really, I was stopped. <laughs> Okay, well, Dan has told Newsby he's now auctioning some off for charity. Big day for 18-year-old Man United's Kobe Mainu. He's had his first training session with England's football squad after getting the call-up. Joe Thompson came through the United Academy just like him. Doesn't seem like anything phases him off the pitch. And then when he's on the pitch, he takes the ball all the time. He wants the ball record. Pressure. This is Newsby. We'll have more of an update for you at 2.30. BBC Radio 1 one of the greatest musical prodigies in all of history. The captivating play written by Peter Schaeffer takes audiences on a riveting journey through the corridors of 18th century Vienna, where jealousy, intrigue and artistic brilliance collide. At its heart is the relationship between Mozart and his envious contemporary Antonio Soleri, as they navigate the dazzling yet treacherous world of patronage. Immerse yourself in the symphony of emotions, from the highs of artistic triumph to the lows of bitter rivalry. Tickets are on sale, by the way, still. It's here at the assembly rooms, half past seven in the evening. Admission, £13 plus a £1 booking fee. Absolutely fantastic. Sounds brilliant. OK, let's go to Wendy Moulton now. Oh, 
before we had kicked off with some imagined common featuring PJ. Then we went into some, um, what do we have after that? We had Carla Prefer back in the day. Queen Niger featuring Ari Lennox. Him up. I'm sure he'll do brilliantly. And what a great cause to be raising money for. So I'm presuming might be jumping here, Joss, but it's the trap, <laughs> the love taking over. It's KMFM's Total Request Lunchtime. I want you to send me a song request. That one song you absolutely love when we play it on KMFM. What's your fave? 60099 is my text. We are celebrating the release of the brand new film, Kung Fu Panda, by sorting you out with a family dinner in London's Chinatown, plus the full blockbuster experience in Leicester Square. All thanks to Kung Fu Panda 4. It's in cinemas March 28. You can enter now at heart.co.uk. Save on every range. Grow your home in Easter Sale. Whether you're visiting... Drop at Morris offers great value fares to towns, cities and major airports across our stores. Big mobile network. Eat and a... Mother... Full luggage. Ready to exp... We had a crazy idea. And tickets are now on sale until 2025. Well, that should give you plenty of time to get your ducks in a row. Book your ticket. Yes, well, they can generate 1.21 gigawatts of excitement. The critics say it's a total blast. Whoa, this is heavy. But hurry, tickets are selling at 88 miles per hour. Head to... Immediately. And when should I see it, Doc? Yesterday, Marty. Yesterday. From construction and... <laughs> Sierra's Tour, Taylor's version, with four additional acoustic songs. Now streaming only on 18 plus subscribers. It's across the U.S. experience of my entire life. Taylor Swift, Sierra's Tour, Taylor's version, with four additional acoustic songs. Now streaming only on 18 plus subscription required. T's and C's apply. The landline is changing. We pick up and mode means plugging your phone in care. We'll be quiet. Say the same. World of Deal Day. From construction and engineering to communities before you make them. Search to see your score today. That's one good thing. Is the sound of your mates alive? <laughs> He's getting more tomorrow. The sound of mates. 
the million dollar clue for this year then if you're still struggling so this was the year that england were knocked out of the semi-finals of the world cup against west germany and yes penalties so come on then 0808 100 5 100 the number to get in touch with me with the year by the way bridgie coming up from two hearing about the henley church that's been ransacked by thieves not on the show <laughs> Well, you're Berkshire and breakfast. A teenager from Slough spent his half term climbing Africa's tallest mountain. Honestly, I just had. Oh, who are you? Breakfast. With Kirsten O'Brien. Back tomorrow morning from six. How are all the ups and downs of Reading FC's financial woes affecting the players and their families? Well, I'll hear from Yasmin. Her partner is midfielder Lewis Wing. Breakfast with Kirsten O'Brien, BBC Radio Berkshire. BBC Radio Berkshire.
show with the Royal Philharmonic Concert Orchestra very soon. It's called Arrival. Uh, so Mike Watson geeking out about music with me a bit later on. And another round of magic music on the way as well. The most infuriating game on the radio. That's here at ten past three. And I want to know today, is it time to start wearing our shorts? Because I might. Ah, see, I had this conversation earlier. It's not that warm, like it's beautiful, but we're not there yet. Keep your top on and keep your trousers on, right? We are not in shorts weather yet. But I was saying there are certain men, I don't know if you are one of them, Adam, I don't want to pass judgment on you, but there are some men who always wear shorts. I'm sure you know people like that. It doesn't matter, like they've got their shorts on. Yeah, our postman actually yeah. is one of them. Yeah. I don't <laughs> know how he does are. it. It's minus two outside and he's walking <laughs> around in shorts. Out. I know, yeah. I know. I mean, it's beautiful out there this afternoon, but I think we could... We could get overly excited, carried away with ourselves. So, but then if you're doing the... You are... Shorts on and your hat on. Adam Dowling here with you after... F to crack... Oh yes, but where to start? They're such big questions. Speak to solicitors. They're local and will make it all really easy to understand. Ask you all the questions, then take you through it all. They did mine. Oh, right, I see. Well, I suppose it's been in the back of my mind for a while now. They took all the worry away for me. Guided me all the way. It's the most important document I've ever signed. And I'm so glad it's done. I feel much better. Give to me to do yours. Uckfield76 or visit the website, .co.uk. Have a car to sell and what... £175,000 on Make Me a Winner. Get in the draw now at magic.co.uk. That's on Friday because, of course, the weekends always start early on Greatest Hits Radio. And these guys have certainly made it into the Hall of Fame. details just after two uh, on how you could be winning truly life-changing cash. Tina Turner here, top stories for the South. Coming up at one. I'm 
do online parties. Well, they watch cartoons. And download 4K films. Offline gaming. Co.uk for your chance to win a year of outdoor adventures, including National Trust membership, outdoor clothing and dinner. Brought to you by the game-changing, all-new 100% electric, the robust electric car that's built for adventure. Have you ever heard? Skyline Gold in the afternoon. Up and running for Wednesday, the 20th of March. Welcome to the show. Coming up, Super Tramp, Cher and Sharon Red. You're listening to Paul Baker. Here's another Paul for you right now, just ahead of the birthdays. It's Owen Paul. This is my favourite waste of time. Playing the greatest hits on the planet. Paul Baker. Political reasons. In the emotional speech, she says he no longer feels he's the best. Says many you rising. rising fell to 3.4 percent in February, 4 percent in January. Just to improve the jobs. Ireland's Prime Minister Michael Martin says the current administration should serve its full term. I've been absolutely steadfast. Been the Virgin between Sunday and Monday. Father Jeremy Tyler is in the church. Initially, we didn't realise how serious it was. You know, most church... happening at the moment so i just thought we'd have a chat about what will happen once we get it all working and on for delays of 30 some cancellation <laughs> 